All right, so check this out. Tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow is a, is is, is going to be a, a, his, a historic um, day. It's a historic day tomorrow, um, musically. Yeah, I think um, we're going to get some great numbers um, on this Swelter track. Um, it's like, it's, it, it, it doesn't get, um, what I call it now, the, the accomplishment is, 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 is great because to feature on a, on, on a song with, um, with, to feature on a song or to be a part of a composition with, um, like, the biggest artist in a, in a, in a them own right. It's a matter like the biggest Latino artist, the biggest Argentina artist, um, worldwide. It's like it's so global. It's like I'm expecting great things from this track, and trust me, I think I've worked very hard. I'm a deserve every every success we're gonna bring. We are put it in the universe. We want it. We want it to be um, like a real monster, like like huge. You see what I say? We want it to be like huge. So make sure tomorrow. Make sure tomorrow you do your part. Big up quest. Quest. We have a big one coming tomorrow. Quest. Real monster. Real monster quest. Farouk and Rao and crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. Um, vibe. Fat man scoop. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I say? Yeah, man. <laughs> you see, you wanna have your quest? <laughs> quest, my, name, my wife kick you out. Yeah. Tomorrow, I'm gonna send it to you, quest. Tomorrow, I'm gonna send it to you. Tomorrow. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a, a monster. Tonight you want to play it? No, tomorrow. They must send, they must send me the, they must send me the, the, the package yet. They must send it to me tomorrow. Yeah. And you know, and you know, so I have them hat here on um, my hat line, on my um, clothing line. And they have the hat on my clothing line, you know. Yeah. So tomorrow, tomorrow definitely, we are going to We are looking for some big numbers tomorrow. So, um, well, not tomorrow, but as the song come come out and comes out and you know we start to see the real traffic. It's a monster. So we want some real traffic, real traffic on this monster here. Because trust me, no quest. If we get the numbers like that, like what's no got. When them did over Snow Informer. Because Snow Informer is like 2 point, 2 point something billion views on YouTube. I don't know if YouTube still them, do them type, type of numbers because them kind of clamping down on the YouTube numbers them. So if we get the same, if we get them type of numbers there on YouTube, trust me, it, it's, it are gonna be, it are be crazy if we get them type of numbers there. Is what I say? Big up yourself, Johan. I remember I said, Far, I said Farouk of them, like, Farouk of, Farouk of them number and, 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 and Rahu and them, them numbers are crazy. Them numbers in the play. You know what I'm saying? And plus we have, we have, um, we have Maria Basira. Maria Basira is huge. Huge, 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 huge. Mm-hmm. And she's all the way from Argentina. Fear fan base is like out of here. So man say. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow. Video everything dropping tomorrow. Is a man say. Chris asked me how, how much dog may have. You have a beard, some dog over there, so them back every night, start being nice, them. 
beer night, beer night is them make. See? And the name of the song is Suelta, you want. Suelta. Yeah, so I'll, I'll send you the video when I get it. I get it, um, you want. Yeah. The true name, Suelta. You see? And it's, I really want, it's essential for the song to blow up big as a dance hall tune because the latter is like it's like dance hall needs something like this we know say people think say us when we when we um collaborate with the the the, the um, american artists them that is all that there is to collaboration and we need to get that out of our system and think that the world of music is just based on collaborating with the American artists them. You understand me? I say? It's it's we have artists around the world that are doing real big numbers and real um and that are trending. You have the African artists them where so I say we are the better than some of them artists that people are run down in America. You have the you have the African artists them where them where them, them, them streaming numbers is out of here because check a place like uh, Nigeria where, 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 where most of the, the, the African artists them, the successful African artists them, most of them is from Ni um, Nigeria right and if you check them numbers yeah so we notice that over the years we get frightened for the, for the American artists them like when an American artist do something with a dancer artist it's got pure excitement and and yo, such and such, do a song with such and such, and the media take it, and the media run with it, and, and yeah, it's a good look for the artist, but guess what? Me notice when artists do songs with like a combination or, a, you know, feature with artists from, from other genres, the media treat it like it's nothing, treat it like it, you know, it's, oh, it's not nothing. You see what I say? When in truth, some of these artists out are from different genres, they are doing better numbers than the artists that we are run down. And guess what? Guess what? The, these artists that are not like American artists, like what we run down, they're more into the music than the people them where we are give the um, the ratings to the people them that we are. If it like, if a man do a song with an American artist, him feel like yo, him, him, him reach, him feel like yo, him, him important, him special. If a man, if we, if we see an American artist sing one of our songs, then if we see an American artist singing one of our songs, we like, yo, you see who I sing? Matter and Dotty Wine. Yo, you see who I sing that? You see who I dance to such and such song? And we make a big thing and we share it and we put it all over the place. And when the Latino artists them are like the African artists them singing any one of our songs or do over one of our songs, we treat it like, oh, I don't know. Yeah? When them artists them I do crazy numbers. We're not numbers market, a numbers game now. You see what I say? Me not beg nobody for give me you no know, ratings or, or say yo Vegas do song with Farouk or them or whatever. Me not beg that because at the end of the day, if the song stream well, me I go make some money. And <laughs> me say when the song stream well, so we not put no if on it. Me I go make some money. And if it do the numbers, then we may anticipate. Like if it if it if it if it does well, and if it if it if it, if it gets to the level where it's no daddy that when Daddy Yankee did over in Farmer, if it get to that level, then it's gonna be crazy for me. So me na, me na, what I'm saying, maybe we need to start look on some of the art, some of the genres, them where the people them more a show more want to show us love, more want to work with we. More want to put with in the music video. More want to put with name on the record as featured. You have dance and artists that run, run behind some, some, some 
American artists to do songs with. And when the, 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 the product come out, you know, the artists don't get another video them. The artists don't get on a song that is a possible single. Yeah? I know this all the time. Like them, like a man come and I work on an album and all him do him, him put a, 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 a local, a quote unquote local artist. A Jamaican artist. Him put him on a song way. It's like them just know that song that uh, maybe make the album. It's not like, yo, this is the this is this is the single. And we want a Jamaican artist on this. And we're gonna shoot a music video and we're gonna promote it and we're gonna make the artist get a feature on the on the track and we're gonna put the artist's name in the promotion and we're gonna put the artist's image and likeness in the promotion so our fan base can know about the artist. You see what I'm saying? Because you are introduced if you really love the music and care for the, the, the artist and care for the art and respect our music, then you are gonna promote our music to your fan base. And you have to promote the artist that you're sampling or the artist that you're doing over his song. You have to promote the artist that to your fan base. You see what I'm saying? That to me is is like when name. But the man name will sing over everyone falling in love sometime. When name. When name and him shoot Megan the Stallion. When name. When name. What a guy the name. What a guy name will shoot Megan the Stallion. According to the reports. When name again, man? When name? When the man name when the man name quest? The man with where them say shoot Megan the Stallion. Two aliens. Two aliens, right? Two aliens did over Tantometra and Devante. Everyone fall in love sometimes. Right? Of course, they, they make some money. Uh, yeah, uh, hopefully. Because they must get publishing. And the song did really well. But can you imagine if Two aliens it make Tanto Metro, not make Devante, sorry, make Devante sing back that or use the sample. That song like a worldwide, more, more people that talk about Tanto Metro and Devante. More people be like, yo, that's Tanto Metro and Devante. But the song come out and all they hear about is Two aliens. But the, I'm not saying every artist has sample something or that them for do, but the Latino artists, them, when them sample a song, them want you to be a part of the video. That is how them rate you. That is how the Latino artists them rate you. They want you to be a part of the video. I saw it with Kevin Little. Kevin Little do, just did something with um, um, one of the, another big Latino artist and, and, and Farouk and another artist. Like big major artist. And they have Kevin Little. They, they did over Kevin Little turn me on. They have Kevin Little in the video. Right? They have Kevin Little in the video. Um, singing a little piece so right there you can connect back Kevin Little to the song and be like oh who is that and be like oh because I remember I said it, the generation is moving so them young millennials here when them hear for them favorite artists them singing or see for them favorite artists them singing Kevin Little turn me on right them can identify you now the original song and them can identify the original artist and that now now just gonna let the artists other songs them start stream. Let the artists in demand for shows. When the artists go out to perform, people 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 come out to see the artists, all of them things. Eh? That is what I I notice with the Latino artists them. When it comes down to the American artists, them are the one them from Canada. When them sample a local artist or do over a local artist song, it's like, you know. It's like disingenuous. It's like, oh, we just, have, we just need a little flavor. A little flavor upon our album or a little flavor upon a song we put out. So, you see? Case in point again. Them youth here now, them Latino youth here, we are the biggest youth them in the Latino market. Them are the number one. These are some of the number one artists them in the Latino market. And them decide so them want to do. Them decide so them want to do heads eye. And what them do? Them send for me. Them send for me. Them put me in the studio. Them let me sing back heads eye. 
You see? Then them bring in, who them bring in and do the production and everything. I didn't hear it until the day they must shoot the video. Right? Look on the dichotomy. Nicki Minaj, she had a Megatron with heads I beat. Right? Notice? Them try cut me up. Them not even try. Is that even makes you say, oh, yo, this is my favorite song. No, I need Vegas to sing the part here. Yeah? yeah? I, I, need, I need the real dancehall artist to sing this piece because I'm going into their genre. So if I'm going to go in, if you're going to do, if you're going to do a, a Afro tune, right? If you're going to do an Afro tune, right? Are you going to do over, let's say you're going to do over one of Wizkid songs. And you're going to go into the Afro market. Why wouldn't you want Wizkid to be on the song with you if you're going into his genre? To quote unquote, find a hit tune because if you're doing a song, it's must a hit song you're trying to do, then why wouldn't you want to take the genre, right, and put it further along, or put it to the audience, to your audience, where you have millions of fans and all of them things around the world. Why wouldn't you want to do that, right? So it wouldn't look good for you to sing a, sing back a, a whiskey song, but you don't use whiskey. Or you can do an Afro tune, and, you know, so when them come to dance, what them do? Them take a piece of sample, or them take a piece of rhythm, or them, and them gone. You see? Look at Megatron. Look at Megatron. Look at the person. Feel up and a feeling only. Feel up and a feeling only. Feel up and a feeling only. You should draw for Las Vegas and say, Yo, I want to sing that part here. Yeah. Maybe till I get more traction too, because I never say, yo, Nicki Manjaj, she come to the market and she do back Ed's eye and she put Vegas and sing a different hook, blah, 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 blah. No, she comes so boom, and then them cut me out of the pub, try cut me out of the publishing. Like them, I try to tell me, say, me not forget no publishing. After me put Ed's eye upon my back for years and go around the world and promote it and shoot the biggest music video, for how much thousands of dollars I shoot music video, promote the song for 20 odd years. When them do the song now, them are tell me, say, oh, it's not the lyrics them did use. It's not my lyrics them use them on to use the beat. You see what I say? Is that them tell me? I say no. From you use the beat, a heads that you use. From you hear that the beat, your heads that you hear. So, boom. But why may I say all of that? Let just show you how, when it comes down to the Latino artists, them, the respect where them give we surpass the respect where they. American and the Canadian artists them give us as dance and artists. It's like them are, it's like them feel like it's like them feel like yo them are doing the biggest favor and we feel just accept anything them are true give you. Like you are some hungry dog them, you know, throw some bone give them. Boom. Take up some bone and throw give them. And we just blah, blah and just grab the bone. Right? That is how it is when we when 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 the American and the Canadian artists them and I'm not saying all of them. You know, but most of them, when they come to work with the, the, the dancehall artists, them, but with the Latino artists, them, I've watched them over the years. Them rate we, them rate we, rate the Latino people, them rate dancehall music to another level. Them, from, from El General took them bow and introduced it to the Latino people, them, the, the Spanish people, them. They have not let it go. To this day, them still using them bow. When you go to Costa Rica and Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic, all the beats, 90% of the beats, even if them change up certain things, you still have the essence of, of Shabba ranking them bow. Still to this day, to this day, them still using that beat. And when you go to Panama, when you go to Costa Rica, you still hear Elephant Man them. You still hear T.O.K. them. You still hear all of the artists them. Mr. G them. You still hear the artists them from the, the 90s artists them. The, the, the Shabba Rankin era artists them. Especially the, the, the 90s artists them. In some answer, like when you go to, when you go to, when you go to um, Costa Rica, you would think T.O.K. is a brand new act. When you go to Costa Rica, you would think like T.O.K. is like a new act. 
You hear the club and you hear the TOK song them play. And the place go crazy, crazy. You go to them place, the elephant man is still king. Still king. When you go to Panama and, and Costa Rica and those places. Because them people are genuinely, and the artists them that are major stars now, them grew up and dance all, which is Dembo. You understand them called it reggaeton. But it's dance all. So when them, when them hear of a Vegas or a Sean Paul or, or, or any one of these artists, them identify with the artists. And them show we love. Them show we more love. Like, like when I go around Farouk or them, 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 they make me feel like, yo, if I say, they make me feel like I'm a Jay-Z. When I'm around Farouk or them, they, yo, and Dimelo, them, them man, they treat me like, yo, like, yo, legend, legend. Is a, every, 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 every time, every woman turn, yo, yo, that's Mr. Vegas, that's a legend. Yo, that's Mr. Vegas, that's a legend. You see what I say? I saw them treat you. Remember me tell you that. I saw them treat you. And, and another thing, I'm more sure show you before I come off of this. I was going to talk about the dog bite, but... And another thing more you understand, and, and this is essential for our music. Heads I was done 24 years ago. Yeah? Everyone fall in love sometimes. Kevin Little song was done over 10 years ago. Cap is still. Kevin Little turned me on is still within the genre. You see? If you notice. The songs that are being sampled are the songs that the people that do over because music has always transcend. And music has evolve. And the youth that come and they going to hear something and they going to want to emulate it. Right? Especially if they still are here in the clubs. The youth, the young producers. Them. For the past 10-15 years, we're not making music where people are going to sample 20 years from now. And, and that is the truth. I said to you, them, you can do your thing, you can sing where you sing, you can sing your, whatever, whatever, come, whatever you, you feel like at that, you, that, that you sing. But it doesn't say that we must not put proper production forward. You see, the thing is, none of the music what we are making now is going to get sampled. You know why? If a hip hop we are trying to make, these people can make hip hop better than we. And if we have put rhythms out without phrase, because remember, the reason why somebody would have sample um, Bam Bam rhythm from Sly and Rabbi is because of the sound and they can't play it back. You sample something when you cannot play it back or you, can, or, or you, cannot, or, or you want it to enhance your production. That is when you sample something. You, know? you sample something to enhance your production. Either because you cannot, if, because if you could play it back, you wouldn't sample it. You would just clear the um, the publishing. You wouldn't have to um, clear the sampling, the sample. So you just play it back and clear the publishing. But when they sample anything from the 90s or the sister Nancy and so forth, it's because, and the, and the, and the Steely and Cleavy production them, it's because them, 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 them can't play it back. Are because they want to enhance them production. What we are making now, what we are called rhythm. See? I mean, I think I talk about just the artist, them not doing any chorus no more. Like we want a chorus. And maybe it's a different era and people are hearing things different. But how it go impact the music in a 20 years from now? That's the thing, you know. That we have to think about, you know. How it going to move the music forward? You understand? Because I remember saying, when you go to an oldest party, no, it's mostly 90s them play. Mostly 90s. Then you have to me say, 20 years from now, I was on the 90s alone, I'm still going to play at oldest party. People are going to get tired of that. At 30 years from now, people are going to be like, yo. So the music we have met now, can we see it playing at an old its party in 30 years from now? That are the question, you know. It, can we see? So what we have to do? We have to, we have to, we have to start make quality 
music like when Nigel Starfa say. The, 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 the artist them, the artist them must, must start link with producers. We have talented artists, but everybody thinks say. You know, from them have a laptop, or them have a little studio, them just go sing something. Right? And then put it on YouTube, and then boost it up, and then, and then maybe get some stream, and then get some Google ad. And of course, them see the numbers. But how long it are going to last? Will somebody sample your music 30 years from now when your career reach on a little level? That are the king, you know. That are the thing. I'm still a sample being man, Zim Zim. Being man still a get, being man just get a, 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 a think a gold plaque the other day for the Zim Zim. And somebody sample it in England. Them still a sample Sister Nancy. Them still a sample Kevin Little. Them still a sample Headzai. Them still a sample Tony Kelly production them. Yeah? So if we now have nothing for them sample or nothing for them playback or nothing for them sing back, if we now have anything for the people them sing back in a 20 years, maybe I want a different genre of music we are going to have. And maybe it just change, maybe go back. Maybe we need to go back to, maybe what, 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 what the radio man them need to start doing, the sound man them, they need to start playing back juggling. Like when we used, like when we used to hear, like when Shabbat said, DJ is cock up on them here, boom rhythm. We need back some bad rhythm and we need back like six artists. I mean, nothing matter about like the old man then. Because people are just about, yeah, talk, you old boy, why don't you do it? Why don't you fix it? Some are ranking them. Never did I try to fix nothing. Because what Shabba ranking them did I hear from being a man them. It did up there. It is strong. It is, you see what I mean? I say, it is a compete with Shabarank. You, you understand that? When Beanie Man them and Bojo and them touch down, when Shabarank go, go a foreign and come back to Jamaica, when Shabarank reach back to Jamaica, you have a thing named Bojo Bantan at down the whole place. So Shabarank couldn't go complain and say, Yo, star, the music. You know, dead. The music no sound like when I left it. No, Shaba came back to Jamaica and Shaba after going and go to the drawing board. Shaba ran to link up Steely and cleave them. To catch back up, to catch back the pace. I saw him going to the studio and him get girls, girls every day and him tune it. When him come back to Jamaica, the youth no match a iron. When he come back to Jamaica, the man, the man, the man run the place. When he come back to Jamaica, you have something big topic about your auntie, kill man and get to auntie, they take my response see you, and no lie your business. When he come back to Jamaica, them thing them are here. You see what I say? So he must oh, oh, catch back that. He must go in at the drive, he must go in at the lab. And from him hear that, where him go? Ting a ling a ling. <laughs> One thing, man. DJ is cock up and them here boom reading. Booyaka, booyaka, for Shabba Rankin, Shabba Rank. I'm saying, you did that, you did it to your nicky, you did that to Nicky, you don't know me, not donkey. You need to yam the judge, you love me. I am the general for the army. Where did the blood clip you when that drop out? 